on 60 Minutes tonight. Academy Award winner Marsha Gay Harden. Code Black, CBS This Fall. I'm Mark of AARP here at Lake Union to let you know about all of the real possibilities we provide right here in Seattle. Because if you don't think real possibilities in Seattle when you think AARP, then you don't know ARP. We offer free movie screenings and premieres. Our meetups and seminars help people connect to reach their goals. And we're fighting scams with our AARP Fraud Watch Network. We've got something new here all the time. So get to know us and see all of the real possibilities at aarp.org slash Seattle. Look closely at a working forest and you'll see clean air, cool, clean water, and healthy salmon runs thanks to scientific forest practices. You'll see renewable Northwest wood, the most responsible building material on earth. And you'll see the green economy of the 21st century come to life in the innovative use of climate-friendly wood in modern building construction. See how working forests work for all of us at workingforestsareworking.org. One, two, three, call, call Jesse, Jesse Jones. Jones. Need help? Call 844-77-JESSE. Watch Jesse Jones on his new home. Weeknights at 5 on Cairo 7 Eyewitness News. Looking for a new Ford car? Visit CompareFord.com today. Consider it Seattle's one-of-a-kind holiday weekend. No one does summertime quite like Seafair at Lake Washington. Hydroplanes zipping at breakneck speed. The Blue Angels dazzling us with their aerial show. And the non-stop party on the water at the infamous Seafair Log Boom. Sit back and celebrate our military and maritime heritage as Cairo 7 presents the 2015 Seafair Sunday Startup Show. Cairo 7's coverage of Seafair 2015 is presented by the Ford Hyundai Dealers of Kirkland. It is 9 a.m. The sun is up. Somebody get me some coffee. <laughs> Another spectacular Seafair Sunday on Lake Washington, and we are going to bring you coverage all day long on Cairo 7 and streaming live on CairoTV.com. Those hydroplanes have been testing in the water, ready for another day of racing, and you'll get to see all of yesterday's action plus today's live races. And the early risers, they are already out along the shores here of Lake Washington and out on the log boom as well. I'm sure there's a libation or two <laughs> being enjoyed as we get set for a full day of boat racing and, of course, the incredible Blue Angels flying overhead. It is the time of year we look for. It is our celebration of summer. And hi again, everybody. Welcome to Seafair. I'm Steve Rabel. And I'm Monique Minglovin. It is so great to be out here for my first year out yes. here on the water. Fantastic and a beautiful day ahead. As you mentioned earlier, you usually get to see this from the television. Now you get to see the scope, just how big here exactly. along the shores and, and the log boom. And I get to listen to you talk about libations and well. pretending that it's coffee. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great day. And there's so many things to talk about. And we will talk about air show we'll talk about all the visitors mm -hmm. that come down to the shores of lake washington to watch and to listen and to enjoy it is also about the boat races that's the great tradition of yep. seafair let's head right to the seafair pits our chris francis will be there all day long <laughs> and he is with a man who has won on this race course and now he has come in to try to right the ship here with respect to H1 Racing. Chris? Steve, we both uh, have our sunscreen here. Uh, Steve David, the new chairman of H1 Unlimited, is with me now. And you, you might remember this name. He's a winner at Seafair, 18-time winner, four-time national champion, and now chairman. Explain the situation to me My here. psychologist is still trying to explain <laughs> it to me. But, you know, I had a passion for the sport, and I retired for a year, and the sport needed some help. And uh, it has a rich legacy, and I'd really like to keep that legacy alive for future generations. So I'm doing everything I can to to rebuild us, to restore the integrity of the sport and make it exciting again. And I think the folks watching today are going to see that when these races start. There are some challenges. You've got sponsorship challenges. You've got uh, money challenges with crews and stuff like that. So it's a big job. It, you, did you bite off more than you could chew here? Uh, you know, I may have, but I'm surrounded by wonderful people. But I think it's like so many of your people. Everybody's got challenges in life. Mine is just trying to rebuild the sport. But i got wonderful people to work with. And, uh, and great fans and Seattle fans, you can't beat them. No, you cannot. And five or six boats that actually could win this thing first time ever. Oh, so yeah. uh, you send it back to you, Steve, up there, Monique as well. Uh, Steve David's going to be running around here all, all afternoon. It is great to yeah. see Steve David back Absolutely. in the pits. He, he, he is a true gentleman, and he is one of the smartest guys I know. A nicest guy and big, nice smile, yeah. too. Lots of inside knowledge they're getting down there in the pits, and also some new lessons. Let's go to Cairo 7's Alexis Smith, or should I say, 
voila, <laughs> Alexis Smith. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. So much pressure here. Yeah, we're hanging out on the east side of the pits where uh, all the drivers are getting their boats in. All the crews are making some last-minute adjustments. So we're seeing lots of boats coming and going here, getting those last-minute uh, testing into the waters here this morning. Now, taking a look at what Monique was talking about, I'm hanging out on the U96 dock uh, with French-Canadian driver Jean Theoret. So uh, we're getting some French lessons this morning. This is lesson number one, très vite. I think that was correct. Translates to very fast. Uh, so I talked to the pit crew. They said he's teaching them one or two words a day. And of course, these are two of the most important words in his vocabulary. They are happy with their boat. In fact, we've been watching the crew uh, making these last minute adjustments here. They're hard at work this morning. And they said uh, yesterday that they weren't too happy with coming in in their heat uh, the way they did. But uh, they are bringing out the big guns for today. So getting that top notch equipment in. So everybody getting ready to go here on the east side of the pits. Très bon, Alexis. Très, Très bon. Oui, oui. Uh, let us check with a guy who went very fast on the water for so many years and turned left, which is the case. You need to do that a lot. That's yeah. right. Chip Hanauer, champion. How many times were you champion? Uh, uh, 77, yeah, I think. I think so, too. It's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, and, and you love this time of year, Chip, because Seafair is, is really a, a family thing for you as well as it is for so many people out here. I'm a fourth generation Seattleite, and this is like a celebration no other city has. You know, everybody talks about New Orleans and Mardi Gras, but come on, it, it can't compare to this. We have Blue Angels, we have boats, we have Formula One, we have paddleboard racing. I mean, there's nothing like it. Absolutely. It's a celebration, but as we know, it's a competition too. It is. And we have lots of men, lots of machines out here. Tell us what we're looking at drama wise. Bunch of men and machines, that's usually a bad combination. <laughs> and that's what's gonna happen here. It's gonna be a brawl. <clears throat> I was talking to Mark Allen, our play by play guy. Normally this time of the morning we're like, well it's gonna be this guy or this guy. It's always two guys, you know, Muncie or Trina with Steve David or Vilwak. We I can't tell you. There's five to six boats that can win this outright. And I think there's two kind of drivers here. There's the poker players. I say Scott Liddycoat and Cal Phipps. They got a good hand, not a great hand, so they got to bluff a little bit, but they're good. And then there's two gunslingers. There's J. Michael Kelly and Jean Thierrette. And they race, if they were in the grocery store, they'd be banging <laughs> golf carts. They just race all the time. And there's a guy in the middle who's, who's a really good poker player, but if a gunfight breaks out, he's got a really big piece. And that's Jimmy Shane. And it shows how good he is at being able to do both because he's a two-time Gold Cup winner and he's a defending national champion. And it goes back to what Steve David said. There are five or six drivers here who have the equipment and the personalities to win this race. And deck-to-deck -deck racing is something that we've wanted to see all along uh, here at Seafair. And we are going to see some of that, uh, of course, this season. Chip, thank you. Uh, it also has to do with what's going on above the water, and that is in the skies, and that can mean, well, it can mean a lot of things, but in this case, it means the blues. And that's for sure. Whether you see them or just hear them, you know that they're here this weekend. It's a big highlight. And every year, somebody from the media gets to go up. And this year, it was Cairo 7's John Nicely, and he got a real test of his ego and also of his body to see if he could hold on to his cookies. <laughs> Beautiful plane, isn't it? I approached Blue Angels jet number seven with a little suspicion. Word is that my fellow Cairo employees have been giving word to your people from the Blue Angels to give me as rough a ride as possible. Can you confirm or deny that? I can neither confirm nor deny, but I can assure you you're in complete control of uh, your flight today. Then it was buttoned down the hatch and no turning back. All right, John, you ready? Ready, hit it. The takeoff or high performance climb has to be one of the coolest experiences. Woo! Then it was off to the Olympic mountain range where Captain Coos started with mild spins. Oh, squeeze your legs, take a deep breath, here we go, Ready, hit it. Blue Angels pilots train hard to handle the G-force, force of gravity against your body. Then we had negative G's upside down. <laughs> yeah, you can let your arms dangle if you want, see that, that sensation. We also did the hesitation roll. Here we go. And a combat maneuver over mountain ridges. Captain Coos describes the 7.4 G maneuver that almost made me pass out. Take a deep breath. Ready, hit it. We did the Immelman maneuver where we're uh, going pretty fast and we're going to reverse our direction uh, 180 degrees through basically the first half of a loop. Um, and that because we're going fast, there's a lot of what we call G available. And so we, we were working hard all the way through there. I think you felt it closing in on you a little bit. Good work. All right. Got a little, loop, uh, a little loopy there, but. Yeah, uh, not bad. You, you stuck with it. Yeah. Uh, 7.4 G's. All right, nice. Yeah, great job. 
Once back on solid land, I was feeling good. Even bombarded by the paparazzi, or my wife, Melanie. There was only one barf bag left. <laughs> didn't need it. Fortunately, I didn't get sick or pass out. So it's clear to my colleagues back, back at the station, you didn't take it easy on me? No, absolutely not. And Captain Coos reiterated what the Blue Angels are all about. From the top to the bottom, everybody's here for a common goal and, and teamwork and, and discipline, and we like to display it across the country in the form of a flight demonstration. Awesome. All right, well, those helmets aren't great for the hair day, but uh, it was a great ride. Thanks, Captain Coos. Yeah, Goose. absolutely. Thanks, yep. John. Well, congratulations to John um, and not having to embarrass himself there. Now, <laughs> here are the headliners of today's Boeing Seafair Air Show. The Breitling Jet Team from Europe continues its inaugural U.S. tour. They are performing today at 1210. Then it's Fat Albert at 130, followed by the U.S. Navy Blue Angels at 140. And there will be a lot more action in the air before and after these big air shows. You can watch everything right here on Cairo 7 and also streaming live on your computer or mo mobile device. Yeah, you know what? What's really important for both what happens in the sky and down on the water is the weather. Yes. Is there going to be wind? Is there going to be chop on the water? Are there going to be clouds as far as the air show goes? And this man knows it right. all. Morgan Palmer is here. And you're going to give us a sense for what we're looking for today. Well, we're looking at pretty good weather for Seafair Sunday. The temperatures are going to be really the main complicating factor. Temperatures are going to be close to 90 this afternoon. Now, right now at Boeing Field over downtown Seattle, as we look from our Queen Anne Tower Cam, 69 degrees, uh, 70 at SeaTac, and temperatures across the South Sound are also in the 60s right now with even a few sprinkles possible down toward JBLM. They'll stay away from Seafair. Now around Renton as we zoom into Lake Washington temperatures in the upper 60s, 69 in Renton and the wind. Of course we'll be watching the wind this afternoon. Winds are right now light and variable out of the South at 3 at the airport in Renton and also at Boeing Field Northwest at 3. A forecast for today 90 degrees high clouds now those high clouds will thicken up over the next few hours and then start to thin back out during the afternoon winds will increase just a bit north five to maybe up to 15 miles an hour i believe we'll really hang in that five to ten mile an hour range and what about the hottest race days this is going to be at number five tying at number five at 90 degrees we were at 99 degrees on race day back in 1981 89 degrees last year, so very similar to last year. If you're headed out here to the pits, it's going to be just about as hot. And bring the sunscreen and the yeah. beverages, I think, are going to be flowing today <laughs> out there. <laughs> Libations, yes. as yeah. you say. <laughs> well, if you have friends who are even out there on their boats or anywhere really away from their TV, remind them they can catch Seafair anytime, anywhere on CairoTV.com live stream. We are streaming all of today's coverage, including the boat races and all the air shows on mobile devices like smartphones, tablets. It's all on CairoTV.com live stream. Need I tell you, there is a whole lot more to come. You don't want to miss a minute. Seafair Sunday is just getting started. I mean, it, it is the summer event of the season. This hour, unlimited hydroplane racing with boats zipping at nearly 200 miles an hour. And later, breathtaking air shows over Lake Washington with the Blue Angels as the headliner. Fully blue sky, you're going to totally see what all the planes can do. It's going to be amazing. And they're making history with the first ever woman to pilot a plane in their iconic air show. It's a great family legacy to have, that's for sure. Now, part of a Seafair legacy we celebrate every August. Grab your families and your neighbors and experience Seafair on Lake Washington like never before. You're watching the 2015 Albert Lee Appliance Seafair Cup, presented by Ford of Kirkland, your official dealer of Seafair on Cairo 7. Jesse Jones, on your side as you ran into serious problems with the good to go system. From pushing the state to close privacy gaps, you were vulnerable until now. To making sure you're not stuck with tolling fees that are not your fault. Jesse Jones broke the story. Good to go is wiping the slate clean. Jesse Jones has got your back. We're going to take a look at each and every one of these cases to make sure that WashDOT does exactly what it says it's going to do. Watch Jesse Jones on his new home, Cairo 7 Eyewitness News. Let's go. Hello, Serena. Fight, fight. Hello. It took Serena Williams years to master the two handed backhand. Let's go. But only one shot to master the Chase Mobile app. Technology designed for you, so you can easily master the way you bank. 
While some look the world over for the right car, there is one dealer in the Northwest with the absolute best deals and an inventory so large it can be seen from space. We order the largest inventory so our customers have the best selection. And our low prices and great service have kept us number one. Right now, you can get a brand new all-wheel drive Genesis starting at 32975. Call or visit us today at HyundaiofKirkland.com. Attention appliance shoppers, celebrate summer with Alberly Appliance during our Seafair sale, August 8th and 9th. Sizzling hot store-wide deals on the largest selection of major brand appliances in the Northwest. Sale prices celebrated at all five locations in Seattle, South Center, Linwood, Bellevue, and Tacoma. Don't miss our largest appliance sale of the summer, the Alberly Appliance Seafair sale, August 8th and 9th. Log on to albertlyappliance.com for details. Don't miss this sale. Welcome back to Seafair Weekend. I'm Alexis Smith. Took a little break from the pits and I wandered over here to the Albert Lee Appliance Seafair Tent. Now this is Military Appreciation Day. This is the fourth year you guys have done this. What's going on in here today? Well, what's going on for us is we are here to host the military, to give thanks, thank, thank them for everything that they do for us, for all the divisions. So everybody's here, they get a chance to enjoy themselves, let their hair down, and be just be themselves. All right, I saw some steaks out there on the grill. Yeah. Uh, looks like everybody has their families with them. What are some of the perks they've got today? Well, they get to take and go down in the pits, enjoy themselves. They get a chance to get a nice, great lunch that's coming up here pretty soon. It is all great. So for them, it's whatever they like to do. It's They're, they're, the, they're the boss today. Got Jim Bro with me, the state commander of the American Legion. Now, Jim, you are a Vietnam veteran, and you're talking about how special it is to you to see these young veterans and these young service members at the Albert Lee Appliance Tent here at Seafair. Talk a little bit about that. Well, thank you. I'm grateful for the opportunity, especially to Albert Lee Appliance, for letting this happen. When I returned from Vietnam, we weren't welcomed with open arms. In fact, it was rather tragic. And I'm grateful now that the young people of today are being recognized for their service. And I kind of wish a little more uh, in our area, the people in our area would realize what a commitment that is. It's a life commitment. Signing a check that says everything including their life. So I welcome this opportunity and thank the entire group here, especially Albert Lee Appliances in Cairo, for letting us become a reality. And are you enjoying yourself today? Have you gotten oh, some good food to eat? Any uh, cocktails here this afternoon? Besides getting toasted, I'm fine. <laughs> I enjoy myself. And he means his skin too, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, that's what I thought. All right, well, thank you very much, Jim, for your service, for all the work you're doing here for our community, and we appreciate Albert Lee and all of our service members too. I'm Alexa Smith here in the Albert Lee Appliance Military Appreciation Tent. Back to you guys. Yeah, a big thank you to yes. all of the veterans yes. out there and their families. Without their support, they couldn't do what they do, and we thank you all. And there are tens of thousands of people who are going to make their way out here today. The military, uh, just part of the Seafair experience. Mm -hmm. The other part is all the families, all the folks that yeah. come in. They, It's like the Oklahoma land rush. They hit the <laughs> gates. I wasn't around first thing that. In the, I remember <laughs> that, actually. Chip remembers it well, in fact. Jesse Jones was out there with the masses this morning as they started coming in, and they, I'm sure, are going to have stories to tell well they met jesse jones for heaven's sake <laughs> oh come on now steve i'll tell you first of all i've never been this close to the action you have the crews over here preparing for the big race the, it's the first time for me to be this close so i can just feel the summer with that sound but also the folks came in you see the people over here they're just filing into the stands on the other side of the stands is the shore and people there are preparing to party. Okay, so we don't have the tape yet, but I'll tell you what happened. And this is probably the funniest thing yet. So we had a, a father and a son come in. They had a, a red wagon. The son had all the stuff in it, decided to run it up on the curb, knocked off the wheel, stuff went flying everywhere, and it was awesome because dad and the son had to have a little conversation about driving. But we're having a lot of people here. It is awesome. And Stephen Monique, we're going to be back out there talking to folks. It's going to be a good time.
All right, Jesse. Yeah, it sounds like the videotape ran up on the curb, too. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. We will we will work on that. Sometimes those things happen when you're trying to turn them around first thing in the morning. So folks are coming in on this side, on the shore uh -huh. side of Lake Washington. By the way, down here near Seward Park and between Seward Park and uh, the I-90 floating bridge, that's where this is all located on Lake Washington. Everybody just trying to yeah. squeeze in here for sure. Now, w when there are accidents like Jesse's talking about, it gets a little messy. People around here, some of them are just jumping in the water. <laughs> And included among those are, of course, the people who are out on the log boom. That is the place to be today. And that includes Cairo 7 Scary Hork. He really, I think, arm wrestled some people. So you must be a little sore and a little happy to be out there today, Gary. Overwhelmingly happy. Welcome to Log Boom Seafair 2015, Monique and Steve. And I'm going to give you a little glimpse of what they're doing uh, this early in the morning. Uh, thousands of people crowding into anything that has buoyancy. For the newcomers to our show, this tradition goes back generations. The Seattle Parks Department assembles those logs together. They anchor them. Those boat owners pay for a permit to tie up days in advance on the east side of the hydro race course. Now, usually there's so many boats uh, they run out of log space. They have to tie to each other, make a gigantic party flotilla. We've described this last year as the world's biggest floating mosh pit. The main events out here, uh, while people float in tubes and boats besides the races, is the Blue Angels. They pound this area with thunderous noise as they zip past very close to the surface of the water. The entire lake shakes. Uh, you know, we've got a great boat this year. It's owned by Kirkland's Mark Anderson, piloted by Andy Patterson. He's right behind us. If you can't come out here, and I'd highly encourage you to do that, about anything that floats and holds a drink makes you welcome out here. Anything that you can tie up to, uh, people are welcoming, welcoming you with open arms. Uh, but there's plenty, still plenty of room for you. We're going to give you live coverage throughout the day, probably about once every half an hour they're going to come to us and we're going to show you how this uh, party log boom is going to grow and uh, you know as it starts to heat up there are things out here are going to start to get crazy right now it's the calm before the mardi gras storm for now we're going <laughs> to toss it back to you guys gary horker right at home in the middle of the floating mosh pit you can see him right there he's having a good time